What's up, everyone? So I'm wrapping up 35 minutes of cardio. Got ramped up today from 25. It ain't much, honestly. I mean, really, compared to what others are doing, a lot more than I am. I really can't sit here and bitch. But what I've been doing the last week, I've been listening to a lot of David Goggins interviews. I'm currently reading his book for a second time. And really starting to sort out what this is all about. It's not about the physical pain, being hungry, not being able to eat, you know, the shit that you put your body through. But it's the mind, what the mind's capable of doing. You know, I'll never in my in any of my years left of this life will go through anything he went through. But to know what he went through, what he accomplished, with all the circumstances he had to deal with. It's amazing what the guy did. No, not one of us listening to this will ever even comprehend what it takes to get to that level of torture that he put his body through. But the only way he was able to get it done was through his mind and aligning it all together. So when I sit here and I bitch about 35 minutes on the stairs, is nothing. It's honestly nothing. So at the end of the day, guys, just wrapped up my 35 minutes. Um, it's just a fucking mindset, bro, guys. It's just positioning your mind. I mean, I know that temptations will get you and you'll want to go to parties, go to family's houses, and kind of partake in the same foods they're eating. But you have goals. How important are those goals? How important is it to you to accomplish the task you set forth to accomplish? You can't get derailed because it's the taco you want to have. Is that bigger than your goals? Or doing the cardio you have to do, or training the certain amount of days that you have to do. At the end of the day, we have 168 hours a week. We all do. Some work 40, some work less, some work more. But at the end of the day, even if you worked 100 hours a week, you still have 68 hours a week left. So maybe you don't need as much sleep as you think you need. Turn off the television. Turn off fucking IG and Facebook and all this stuff that gobble, goggles, gobbles up your time. Go to your IG, hit the, the activity. It'll tell you how much, how much time you spend on this stupid thing. Where is your time going? At the end of the day, you control your time. You control what you do with that 168 hours a week. You control it. And most of us use the excuse, well, I got kids, I got this, I got that. Yeah, we all got the same shit excuses. But at the end of the day is, do you want it? How badly do you want to achieve your goals? How badly do you want to get there? You're not going to do it by bitching and complaining and whining and saying, I don't have time, I don't have this, I don't have that. We all have the exact same time. At the end of the day comes down to the choices that we make and what's in here. Change the way you fucking think. If you want something, go fucking get it. And no one is going to stop you from it but you. You're the only one that gets in your damn way. We have classes that we offer seven days a week. Some people tell me, well, I can't get up in the morning. I'm not a morning person. Fuck that. Get your ass up in the morning. At the end of the day, it's a choice. If you choose not to come at 5 a.m., it's because you're choosing not to come. And I get it. You have to work. You're working at 4.45 or 6. You can't make the evening class, but you can, as hell, make the 5 a.m. class. I'm not picking on anybody, nothing like that. I'm just saying, I'm, all I'm trying to emphasize is that at the end of the day, it's a choice that we make. You go to a party, it's a choice whether you eat this or whether you eat that. Alicia and I go through the exact same thing. There's no damn difference. Went to my mom's house. They had the most amazing Mexican food there. We're with our own fucking little Tupperware of shitty ass food. But we have goals to meet. And my goals are bigger than the temporary satisfaction of eating those enchiladas that look good as hell. But what's important to you guys? Change how you think. Make decisions that are uncomfortable. We all want to be comfortable. The comfortable is what got us all in the spot that we're in. I'm 50 years old right now. I made a decision at 38. Granted, I've been up and down for those 11, last 11 years. But at the end of the day, for the most part, I made the right choices. And I know when I want to turn it on, how to turn it on. But it's just a shift in how you think. You guys have the ability and the capabilities to get everything fucking done. Go get it fucking done. David Goggins is not superhuman. He's just a guy that's more determined than anybody else. 
You gotta check yourself. Man up, woman up, whatever you wanna call it. Get shit done. If you wanna fucking lose 50 pounds, lose your fucking 50 pounds. If you wanna gain muscle, gain your damn muscle. We got the blueprint on how to get it all done. You just gotta follow that damn blueprint. And if you don't follow the blueprint, you aren't gonna get those results. It's like everybody wants to be a millionaire. Everybody wants to be wealthy. There's a blueprint to get there. You gotta do what those are, what those are, <laughs> I can't even think anymore. You gotta do what others are not willing to do to get what you want. Everybody wants to look great at the beach. There's stuff you gotta do to get there. Everybody wants to be a millionaire, wants to be rich, wants to have cars and this and that. Certain things you gotta do to get there. Again, change how you think. Make those tough decisions, sacrifice. Because at the end of the day, I promise you, nothing is worth more than your goals that you achieve. If you can change your physique, there's nothing that tastes better than once you have that body that you dream of. Once you have it, you'll learn how to keep it in check. You'll learn how to, be, how to do everything in moderation. All right, guys, that's it for my speech. Six minutes in, I'm too late. Got to go. Goodbye.